Well, last week, Senator Schumer put a national security bill on the floor. The problem is it lacked serious border security policy changes, things that we need in this nation. Republicans have voted against it because we know national security starts with border security. We are going to stand firm until serious changes are made. Since last week, the scope, the scale, the seriousness of the Biden border crisis has accelerated. One week ago, an all-time record high of over 12,000 illegal immigrants crossed the southern border. To put that number into perspective, President Obama's Homeland Secretary, his Homeland Security Secretary, Jay Johnson, said this in the past. He said, a thousand encounters a day, a thousand encounters a day would overwhelm the system. Well, it was 12,000 each day last week. Some days 10,000, some days 11, some days 12, record numbers each and every day. Ten times the number that President Obama's Secretary of Homeland Security said would overwhelm the system, day after day after day. So let's be clear about what's happening with Joe Biden in the White House and Democrats in the majority in the United States Senate. Well, the Democrats and Joe Biden have gambled with American safety and security. The border, the southern border, is now a hot spot for terrorism and trafficking like we've never seen before in this country. This body heard last week from the director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, Christopher Wray. Testified in front of the Judiciary Committee, Director Ray said this, he said, post-October 7th, we, you've seen a veritable rogues gallery, rogues gallery of terrorist organizations calling for attacks against us, the United States. Secretary, the head of the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, he said, I see blinking lights Everywhere, everywhere he's looking, he's seeing the threat. Any of the Democrats in the Senate listening to him? Any concern from the senators on the Judiciary Committee? Well, Dr. Ray isn't the only person to warn us that the threat of terrorism aimed against Americans is increasing. The Homeland Security Secretary for President Obama mentioned it in the past. And now the Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas, the current one for President Biden, said, we are definitely in a heightened threat environment. I agree with him. President Biden would have us believe that the border, as he said, is safe and orderly and humane. I don't think he's been there in a long time to actually see what's going on, because that's not what I witnessed just a few weeks ago when I went down there with a group of senators. So what's the reality? Well, the reality is President Biden has created the deadliest, most dangerous, and most disastrous border crisis in our nation's history. Democrats' definition of border security is very different from what I'm hearing about at the grocery store in Wyoming because the Democrats' the left definition of border security is to just make it easier for illegal entry into the country. Wave them all through. Come on in. Everything's fine. Well, it's not. Illegal immigrants ought to be turned away. Democrats are waving them through in record numbers. So why is this happening? Well, it's happening because the Biden administration is manipulating the law of the land. The administration is hiding behind such terms as asylum and parole. And they're using that to quickly process and move inland migrants from all around the world by the thousands. The night I was at the border with the late night midnight patrol, people from all around the world were coming in, three from Moldova. They had to go through lots of different countries before they got to come up through Central America. And oh, by the way, they paid those cartels dearly. It's a criminal element, trafficking humans, to be deposited then at our border's edge. Our laws are no longer used to determine who gets in and who stays. The illegal immigrants make that decision, and that's wrong. 
Simply, if they show up at the border, Joe Biden waves them all through. That's the policy of the Democrats in this body. They utter a few magic words and are released into the country. Under President Obama, under President Obama, about 21,000 people a year requested asylum. They're fearing for their lives, they're fearing concern, fearing what happens in their home country. 21,000 in a year under President Obama. So what's happened with Joe Biden now? The Border Patrol agents say the number that was a full year from President Obama happens every two days with Joe Biden and the Democrats from this body looking the other way. So things are fine. Things are secure. Two days equal a full year from the Obama administration. It is absolutely preposterous to argue that all of those people qualify for asylum. We know they don't. We know it. The American people knows it. The president ought to know it. The members of this body ought to know it. 10,000 illegal immigrants day after day will quickly add to over 10 million illegal immigrants into this country during four years of the Biden administration. President Biden is allowing it to happen, and Democrats in this body are encouraging him all the way. This administration has turned what was known to be a notice to appear into a license for illegal immigrants to disappear into the homeland. Well, the payment for Biden's breakdown of law and order is now coming due. The blinking lights, as the head of the FBI said, are everywhere. The Senate finally acted to secure the border. This nation would be safer, and people would rest assured in my home state in Wyoming, and certainly in big cities, cities like New York and Chicago, where the mayor of New York said the illegal immigrants overwhelming the system, destroying the city. It's indisputable. Where can the Senate start? Here's an idea. Let's fix our broken parole and asylum system. Republicans want border enforcement, border security, real policy changes to keep our communities safe. The American people don't have that today. So it's no surprise that they're angry and they're afraid. This needs to change. Real border security is a top national security need. Republicans don't need another record-breaking day to understand that this crisis requires swift, serious, and substantive action. Republicans have solutions, solutions to make our communities and our country safer. The President and the Democrats in this body need to include these measures in any national security bill. Otherwise, Mr. President, there will not be a national security bill.